All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app, step 60. All right, so like radio buttons, form data, uh, pardon me, form data for selected checkboxes are name, value, attribute pairs, all right? Uh, while the value attribute is optional, it's best practice to include it with any checkboxes or radio buttons on the page. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a value attribute to each checkbox and for convenience we're going to set each checkbox's value attribute to the same value as its ID attribute. Gotcha. Alright, checkbox, checkbox, checkbox. We're going to add value attributes. So it's pretty much going to be like this. We're just going to say uh, value equals um, what's the ID attribute? Loving. Loving. On this one, it's going to be lazy. So, value equals lazy. And then on this one, we're going to say value equals energetic. Energetic. Let's see what happens. Nope. What's wrong? All three checkboxes should have a value attribute. Are what? <laughs> what? What? Attribute. Where did the lazy one go? Up. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. Let's put that right here. Let's say. Let's bring this back, I guess. No. All right. Now let's see. All right. There we go. Awesome. And submit it. All right. That's a way to add some minutes. Add some time to a video. Anyway, so now we're on uh, step 61, and we'll see you next time.